to the dark and foreboding door of Toronto-based director Floria Zizismondi, whose disturbing skills are quickly, quickly making her a star in her own right. Zizismondi is the director of David Bowie's Little Wonder video and Marilyn Manson's deliciously repulsive The Beautiful People. But does she really live under a rock or what? Let's find out. People think of women, I guess, doing softer, more beautiful pink things. You've got that, that little bit of that other side. <laughs> that would be the dark and creepy side, which is what makes director Floria Sigismondi such a magnet for musicians wanting to create dark and disturbing videos. When I first started, um, as a painter, too, coming up with these images, and it kind of freaked me out because I thought, you know, does that actually make me a bad person or weird or anything like that? But I think I've just become to accept it and um, think of it as a part of myself. A lot of my images come from, you know, that just that time when you just go to sleep. I usually write, end up writing in the dark or just when I wake up. I'm really inspired by the Quay brothers. They're incredible. Um, and David Lynch. <laughs> He's amazing. The texture part is what draws me to Flory's work. She moves away from narrative to a certain extent. The narrative that she does put, put in is, is generally pretty abstract. And I, I like that aspect of working with her. Sidious Mundy and Bowie both acknowledge lifting the imagery in his Dead Man Walking video from the work of the English painter Francis Bacon. But look at Floria's most noted video to date, though, The Beautiful People, although it owes a debt to the Austrian painter Gottfried Helmwein, was pretty much the inspiration of the artiste, Marilyn Manson. I'm a big fan of prosthetics and other medical fetishes, and uh, I explained that to her. So she just really went, wrote, went wild with, you know, her ideas and... Uh, I thought she did a great job. The beautiful people, the beautiful people, the beautiful people, the beautiful people. It did leave uh, some some uh, bad cuts in my mouth that uh, unfortunately probably will never heal. I torture him a lot actually on every shoot. <laughs> but you always have to suffer to make something great. So. The new wave of rock video grotesquery isn't new at all, actually. The Austrian painter Gottfried Hellwein, mentioned there, whose self-portrait adorned the cover of an album by the German band Scorpion some years back, was doing images of medical horror 20 years ago. And no one in rock has gone as far down the happy road to depravity as photographer Joel Peter Witkin, whose deeply disturbing work, which you might best seek out on your own, is much admired by Nine Inch Nails leader Trent Reznor, no slouch at images of icky sickness himself. We're not done yet with this week's...